Hi guys, today I want to share with you a haul of the things that I picked up during the Black Friday sales. And um, Black Friday is, I guess, for my Australian viewers, just the sales um, that are around Thanksgiving time in the US. And there is uh, pretty much a huge, um, lots of sales going on around that time um, online. So I think um, it was a good opportunity to snap up and bargain. So I just want to share with you guys what I picked up. So we'll just get started. Um, maybe we'll start with some of the online buys that I um, bought. So um, it's a mix of both fashion and clothing and also some makeup. So I'll just start with the online um, purchases. So I got this Scandinavia finishing spray. And um, I always wanted to try this. I know that the current finishing spray I was using um, by Urban Decay was also made by Scandinavia. So I, I wasn't doubting how good this product performed. And I bought this from the skincare store, which had, um, I think it was 20 or 30% off the entire store. So it was really good. So I, I picked this up on discount. And um, yeah, so far I'm loving it. I like how... Um, Refreshing it feels on the face, especially because it's summer in Australia. It, I feel like it does set the base of my makeup really well and it doesn't smell either, so I really like this. So I got that from the skincare store. And I was actually during Click Frenzy, so I'm not sure if you knew about that night, but that was picked up during um, one of the Click Frenzy, the, the Click Frenzy night. Um, so next, I might want to go with ASOS because I'm really happy with the purchases. So ASOS is usually almost always on sale, but this sale was actually pretty good. So I picked up two dresses from ASOS and I got this dress, which I think is really, really cute. It has a, a sweetheart neckline and um, it has a exposed zipper at the back. And I really love this. I like the length. It's a perfect length for me. And it's also just really pretty and kind of that soft feminine um, kind of look. I think it'll be perfect to wear to weddings, especially because there's a lot of weddings um, coming up at the moment. And um, the only thing I didn't really like about this dress was um, just the flowers on the front. I thought it would be um, all pink. But it's sort of um, got this vintage kind of feel. It's, it's not uh, pink, it's sort of like a cream, the, um, the mesh bit at the front. But other than that, I really like this. I think it fits really nicely. And it also has some padded cups here. So that's always a bonus. I really like this dress. And it was really cheap. I got um, this dress and the other dress, which I'm about to show you for $70, which I think is amazing. So the next dress, which I love, I really, really like this, um, it's a dress by TN, TFNC and it's got sequins on the top so it's not really ironed, so you can see here it's kind of still uh, um, crimply, but um, I really like this dress, it fits really nicely, so it's got sequins on the top and again it has that chiffon material at the bottom, has an exposed zip at the back and it's sort of like a baby doll. Um, kind of silhouette but I really like this it doesn't poof out too much that it makes you look like that pregnant look that some baby doll um, dresses do tend to give but this one is really really nice fits amazing the only thing I can say the bad thing I can say about this dress is that um, the sequins are especially around the arm areas it does uh, tend to itch a little bit on my skin when I wear it so I've only tried it on I haven't worn it for a night or day yet but I do plan on wearing it maybe for New Year's Eve I think it'd be a perfect dress for that occasion um, I'll see how I go how that feels on because it is a little bit irritating it's kind of like itchy because of all the sequins but other than that I really really love that dress so those two items were from ASOS were $70 and I think that was a bargain so roughly $35 per um, dress which is amazing and the other thing I got online um, was from Sabo Skirt, so I really, really like the type of clothes that they sell on Sabo Skirt, and um, I mean, I think the prices are reasonable, they're not too bad, and the deal they had on Sabo Skirt was t uh, free shipping, so shipping to Australia is $10, so I saved $10. Um, I picked up these shorts, and what I like about these shorts was the uh, cut here on the bottom, so it kind of sort of goes up, um, so it just has a little bit of detail. You, you can see it is 
sort of a high-waisted uh, pair of shorts because you know it doesn't look very long <clears throat> but it is um, it is quite high and for me I think these are they're not super short on me so I think it's good I can I actually wore this to work so it wasn't too bad um, but I like it they're super comfy um, the only thing I can say is that I don't think the material is very good quality uh, that's the only thing I can say because it just um, it's just very very soft and it just doesn't feel like really good quality it seems like it could tear so um, and it's not like it's tight on me or anything it's actually quite comfortable fitting so yeah but I really like this print and I think it's great for summer and I've also Instagram um, a picture of me wearing this if you guys are interested and the other thing I got from Sabo Skirt was this dress I really love this I actually bought this dress because I saw on um, one of the blogs, La Flash, she was wearing this and it looked gorgeous on her and I wanted to wear it as well. Um, I really like this. I think it's a really pretty and interesting dress. Uh, I haven't got many white casual dresses so it's got like these eyelets and if you wear like a skin coloured bra it doesn't really show that much so I think it's, it's really appropriate. For me the length is actually just above my knees, it's not very short on me. Um, <clears throat> and I also like the buttons at the back, you can see here, and I also like the sleeves, I think the sleeves are really, really cute. Um, so yeah, I really like this dress, I think it's a really nice um, summer barbecue type of dress. The only thing for me about this dress um, was the shoulders, I do have pretty wide shoulders, um, <clears throat> and this one was a bit narrow, I think, for me, so that's the only thing, but I'd still wear it, so I'm pretty happy with that. And um, on with the other sale, so I purchased um, this top, white top from uh, Glassons. It's not zipped, so let me just... So it looks like this, and it's a peplum, and I love this top. I love, love, love this. I've also Instagrammed um, a photo of me wearing this one. I really like it. I think it fits really well. And um, I like the lace look as well. So this is something of a favourite at the moment. I think I'm going to wear it to um, family dinner for Christmas because I'm, I'm that in love with it. This was only $20. Amazing. So my next purchase was from Retreat. It was some flats and I've worn these to death um, already. So they have a lot of scruffs and marks on them but I really love these. So this is what they look like. They are gold and then they have this um, tiger print on the back of the heel. And they're just super comfortable and I really, really love these. So these were originally 150 and then they were down to 100 and then further discount down to 180 so that was a bargain i really love witchery flats and i can't complain i wear flats every day so i think they're a good purchase so i picked up a couple of things from priceline they were having um sales as priceline does nearly all the time so i picked up um a color tattoo by maybelline and this is in the color pomegranate punk I really love this colour, I'm wearing it on my eyes at the moment, I really like it, I think it's a very nice um, plummy, pinky, kind of berry um, colour which I love and I also picked up the Master Precise Liquid Liner and this is by Maybelline and I'm also wearing it at the moment, I think it's amazing, I'm going to try it a little bit more, see how well it performs um, over a couple of months so hopefully it does well because then that could be my new favourite liner. And the other thing I picked up was Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. And I was actually after the one with the brush that had the um, sort of like a bomb looking thing at the end. But I picked up the wrong one. This is just a, a volume, volumizing mascara. So that's the one I picked up. And that was all 20% um, off. So that was a pretty good deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think of the haul and if you like it, please like. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.